Hello and welcome to the ninth in our series, Key Skills Piecing It Together. Today I'm looking at a little reverie from grade three. It's a beautiful little piece by John McLaughlin. It absolutely has to have pedal the whole way through and a certain kind of pedaling which you may not have yet met and that's the legato pedaling or syncopated pedaling. So I have a favourite pedal exercise that I always give to my students when they're first learning legato pedaling. And that involves playing a scale of C major very low down on the piano. And the reason I play it so low down is because if the pedal, if we're not pedaling correctly, we'll hear the clashes of the sounds. And use just one finger to, to play that scale. You can use any finger, I use second finger. And again, the reason for that is that you, the purpose of the pedal is to join the sounds together. If you play with a regular scale fingering, you might actually be joining the notes with your fingers and not with the pedal. So playing with one finger, low down the piano, I find is the best solution. So very, and count very, very slowly when you first start doing this exercise. So I put the pedal down before I start, and then very, very slowly counting one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. And so on. And just keep, you can go as far as you like. I think two octaves is probably enough. Um, listen very, very carefully. The most important thing about pedaling is listening, so that you're hearing that the sounds really are getting all connected together and that there is no muddiness. So we don't want this sound to be too long. It could be a small little overlap of, this, of, this, of the sounds. It's, it's actually needed in order to get legato, but not so much that the, the sounds are really jangling together, clashing together. Also, we don't want gaps between the sounds, so we don't want sound. We want a lovely smooth connection. So once you're confident with that exercise and you're correctly coordinating finger and pedal with the slow counting, you can then start to gradually, gradually speed up the exercise. You can even do an accelerando, which I think is a good idea, but only after you've mastered the first exercise. So so on getting faster and faster and it's a bit of fun as well and once you're confident with that and it starts to become automatic this coordination of foot and hand then you can start thinking about thinking about putting it into the piece into a little reverie so working with left hand alone and listening very very carefully as always very very slowly and only move your foot after you hear the next new note hear the note first then move your foot, hear it first, now move your foot, and so on. So there's always an overlap in the sounds, tiny overlap, but then the notes get joined together. But the crucial thing is that you're hearing the next new note before your foot moves. So over time, with enough practice, and you become really confident with playing pedal and left hand together, then you can start thinking about adding the right hand to this lovely little piece, Little Reverie by John McLaughlin.